Hey guys, Nicola here from Oxangel RC, and today I'm going to show you the Eqin VR D2 goggles. Uh, those feature diversity receiver, and they have an inbuilt DVR, which is a really nice function. And I can tell you that they will, this was made, one of the main reasons why I bought them. Um, really good looking pair. Uh, the uh, VR 007 I uh, bought last time, I wasn't really happy about its performance, so these ones were nice. They have a nice strap, and the back of it has a place for the battery to balance out the goggles, and this is a very nice extra and works very nicely. On the side, you can adjust the Fresno lens inside. The case is very sturdy. And uh, actually the screen looks pretty nice, the lens is good, and actually for the first time uh, it doesn't stress my eyes when I use them, so pretty happy about it. Uh, on the top there are the connectors for the uh, diversity receivers, for the antennas, the uh, SD card, and the power cord for the battery. The front features an LCD screen with buttons for the uh, band and the channel. Also, uh, there are buttons switch for switching between uh, just camera mode and DVR mode. And once in DVR mode, you can start and stop recordings. And I'm thinking there may be playback. I'm not sure about that yet. The menu is just the, the regular standard menu for the uh, screen, adjusting brightness, sharpness, contrast, stuff like that. And then you have a power button, which actually turns off the monitor, but not the receiver. So make sure you disconnect the battery if you're not going to use it the underside has a tripod mounting uh, piece uh, it comes with two antennas <clears throat> one circular polarized one patch a charger for the battery and a two cell lithium ion battery uh, 2200 milliamps lasts a while very good battery a word of warning about the uh, antennas. Now the circular polarized, the clover leaf antenna on the left actually works pretty good. The patch antenna uh, that arrived with my unit is dead on arrival, no reception whatsoever. So keep this in mind. Probably others will be working, but mine came uh, defective, just so you know. And now moving on to the field test, I'm gonna use my uh, Shuriken 180. Uh, for this test, I have here the uh, VR007, the uh, VRD2, and the Quantum V2 connected to my uh, antenna tracker. Of course, uh, here's my other DVR. Of course, I'm not going to use the tracking bit, uh, it's just connected to the receiver. All of the receivers have the same antenna mounted on it, uh, but the uh, antenna mounted on the uh, tracker, the, the, the monitor on the left is the quantum, it would appear it's defective because it had the worst reception as if there's no antenna. Look at this, I'm barely 20, 30 meters out and it's losing signal a lot. So ignore that screen, the center one is the VRD2 and the one on the right is the VR007. And as you can see, the 007 glitches a lot. The receiver is not perfect. It's not very good actually. And in my review of the 007, I also mentioned that I, I'm not a fan of that pair. Um, the uh, VRD2, however, really good performance, no dropouts in the signal, uh, very little interference. Uh, the place I'm flying at uh, is really clean, actually, and uh, but still the goggle the goggles perform very well, and you know on the left the quantum totally useless right now with that antenna. There's probably something wrong with it. I'll have to check it out. And on the right, 007, not bad. The screen is the screen is good in that one, even though it's low res, but the receiver is not very good and uh, you know I just don't use those that's why I bought the uh, D2 <clears throat> and you if you just saw the uh, 
007 glitch just as I was passing by, the D2 did not. So, what can I tell you? In terms of receiver quality, very nice, solid reception, screen is very good, adjustment of the uh, Fresno lens is also easy and very convenient because actually the VR007 does not have adjustment of the lens and that's a bit of an issue for me but here is the one issue with those goggles look at the uh, bottom right of the goggle screen it shows the DVR recording and if you note at the screen itself the video is all choppy and not fluid in motion and that happens when you turn on the DVR and uh, press the record button the video becomes choppy and I I'm not sure this is okay for uh, racing quads this will be okay for uh, slower copters planes etc anything that does not have to fly fast close to the ground look at this it's choppy when I move the copter around <clears throat> And now you will see when I turn off uh, the recording how smooth it becomes. So choppy, very smooth. And you can actually see the difference. When you wear the goggles, it's astounding difference. From smooth to choppy and now back to smooth again. Look at this. Bam, smooth. So I don't know what to tell you. Not, the DVR is not usable. Uh, for racing quads, but could work on most other models. However, the quality of the recording is very nice, and I definitely like it, and I'm going to be using the goggles. Even when I don't look through them, I'm going to snap strap an antenna on them just for the recording, because it's quite nice, and it's certainly better than the recording from my other DVR although the other one has a 5-inch screen, integrated receiver, etc, etc, just not put in, uh, you know, goggle form, the quality of the uh, recording is not optimal. Uh, on the right is my other DVR. As you can see, vast difference in quality of the recording. So I'm going to keep using the uh, D2's DVR, but keep in mind it's not suitable for racing quads and low flying fast planes but would work for most other stuff so apart from the DVR the goggles are very good uh, diversity receivers amazing uh, buttons etc everything works as it should work and is it worth the money um with the DVR not working as it should probably not quite but i'm hoping they will fix that in a second version or something but for the time being if you're not gonna race quads with it it will it will do the job and it's a good pair of goggles uh so you know you decide whether this is worth it or not uh and this concludes my review and i will see you later